Greetings for the day. This is Chetan Kumar from Worknave and today we'll talk about the topic of syllogisms. So most of the people might be having a confusion in this and after watching this video that will be uh, fully clear. So let us go with the, the types of statements possible here in syllogisms. Four types of statements possible are all A or B, some A or B, no A or B and some A or not B. Now let us see how to write the Venn diagram for these statements because you should know the meaning of these statements, right? Let's go one by one. The first one, all A or B. Now you see uh, a circle is written here that is for A, another circle is there that is for B. Now if I want to say all A or B, then the entire A should belong to B and the Venn diagram would look like this. Next time onwards, if all A or B is given, write a concentric circles like this where A has to be the inner circle and B has to be the outer circle. Now uh, at this point you should also understand uh, this particular thing. If I say all A or B is correct then I should also agree that some portion of B belongs to A and that is called the reversal of this particular statement. So that means all A belongs to B means some portion of B is also occupied by A, right? So that means this particular conclusion is also right based on uh, the previous statement, all A or B. Now, if I say all uh, chocolates are ice creams, then how to write the Venn diagram? It's like this, chocolate has to be the inner circle and then ice cream has to be the outer circle. But understand one thing, this outer circle is there, right? Ice cream that can be as big as I want in my particular Venn diagram. I can decide the size of this particular outer circle. I can also write it in the entire sheet if I want. But only condition that has to be true is this chocolate portion has to be inside the ice cream portion. Done. Let's go for the next slide. Next sentence possible is some A or B. Now also you can see two circles A and B and some A or B means there has to be a common area between A as well as B. That means there at least has to be a some portion which uh, needs to be common between both A and B. And now this actually says that there is a, a portion in A uh, which is also present in B. And now you see this particular portion is common for both A and B. That's why I can completely say that some A or B. And if I say some A or B, then I should also agree for the reverse of that, right? What is that a reversal? It is some portion of B belongs to A also, right? So if I say some A or B is right, some B or A is also right. Hence, the reversal of the uh, some A or B statement is this and the example that I can take is the same uh, chocolate and ice cream example. If I say some chocolates are ice creams, then how exactly the Venn diagram would look like? It would look like this. If this is chocolate, then the ice cream will be uh, intersecting with it and this portion is what some C are I that is some chocolates are ice creams done. Let's go for the next set of statement which is no A or B. As the name suggests there has to be absolutely no common area between A as well as B. So it says that A and B has to be uh, A and B both have to be separate one. So if I say no A belong to uh, no A belongs to B then I should also agree that no B belongs to A. So the reversal of this will become no B are A. And the last set of sentence possible is some A are not B and this is uh, slightly challenging because uh, even if we write the Venn diagram uh, for some A are not B, uh, it would look something similar to some A are B but the region that we want in this uh, sentence will be uh, only that portion which is not there in B because the meaning of some A or not B means there has to be some region which should not be present in B and this is the region we are talking about. Now uh, when solving a problem based on some A or not B you have to be extra conscious because there is no reversal possible here. Some people might be thinking some A or not B will be identical to some B are not A. 
and I'll tell you in all the previous cases reverse, reversals were completely fine but here it's not completely fine because some A R not B can also be written like this. Imagine this is A, okay, imagine this is A and there is a portion called B, okay, B like this. Now also some A R not B is perfectly valid, right, because there are some portion in A which is not there in B. So some A R not B is correct. Now can I say in this case some B R not A? which is not possible because here in this case all a belongs or oh sorry all b belongs to a so i cannot say some b are not a which is not possible here so any conclusion is a valid conclusion if it is true in all the possible venn diagram and here it actually violates the statement so that's the reason why uh, while solving the problems on uh, some a are not b you have to be extra conscious about uh, that particular problem now let's get into the uh, question directly and the question number one that I am giving all of you is this. Uh, first of all, let us do one thing. Uh, we'll reverse the given two statements and see whether it will follow in the conclusion or not. Now tell me, some actors are singers. Don't you feel this is in the format some ARB? Yes, this is in the format some ARB. And I know if some ARB is right, Reverse is also right. What is the reverse of some A R B? It is some B R A. So let us see whether the reverse of this is available in the conclusion. If it is there, that is absolutely fine. Some actors are singers. If I reverse this, I will get some singers are actors. Some singers are actors. Is it there? No, it is not there in the conclusion. Leave it. But if it is there, that is absolutely right. Let us go for the second one. All the singers are dancers. And now, what is the reverse of this? Some dancers are singers. And that is also not there. But if it is there, that is absolutely fine. Now, at this point, I cannot conclude that these two conclusions are uh, valid or not. For that reason, I have to write the Venn diagram. Let us write the Venn diagram for them. Some actors are singers. And I said already that some cases should be written like this. Imagine this is actors and there is an intersection between actors and singers. Let's write like this. And then all singers are dancers. Entire singer has to be inside the uh, dancer section. So dancer has to be here. I hope it is clear. And now you see the conclusions. Are they true or not? Some actors are dancers. Is it correct? Absolutely correct because there has to be a common area between actors and dancers if uh, this has to be true. If at least a small common area is there, then that is absolutely fine. And you see this particular region is common, right, for both uh, for both actors and dancers. So that's why the first one is perfectly valid. This conclusion is true. And if this conclusion is true, uh, I can definitely cancel uh, uh, option B because it says only conclusion 2 follows. I can also eliminate option D because it says neither 1 nor 2 follows. But I already know conclusion 1 is true. Let's go for the second conclusion. No singer is actor. If no singer is actor, there has to be absolutely no common area between actors and singers. But you can clearly see there is a common area between actors and singers. So no actors are singers or no singers are actors is absolutely not possible. So second one is wrong. So that means some actors are dancers is the only conclusion possible. Hence the answer to this question is uh, option A only conclusion one follows. I hope it is clear. Let's move on to the next question. Question number two uh, for all of you is available here. Uh, statements four statements are given and two conclusions are given. Uh, only thing you should do is write uh, the Venn diagrams for these four sentences. Okay, But before that, you should reverse the sentences and see. Let us reverse. All stones are hammers uh, is given in the format all A R B and I can reverse that as some B R A, right? So now let us reverse it. Some hammers are stones. Do you see some hammers are stones in the conclusion? Yes, that means it is perfectly fine. If it is perfectly fine, I can eliminate option B and I can also eliminate option D. Because it says only conclusion 2 follows and neither 1 or 2 follows. Done. Let's go for the next one. No hammer is a ring. Reversal is no ring is hammer. Of course, it's not there. Leave it. 
some rings are doors that means some doors are rings that is also not there all doors are windows that means some windows are doors uh, now uh, this is not there in the reversal aspect uh, but I cannot conclude that it will be wrong unless I write the Venn diagram let us write the Venn diagram for them all stones are hammers so sto stone will be uh, inside and hammer will be outside so the first Venn diagram is done next no hammer is a ring and you see no hammer is a ring because there is a uh, there is no common area between hammer and ring then some rings are doors some rings are doors means there has to be a common area between uh, the rings and doors and last one is all doors are windows if all doors have to be windows then door has to be uh, in a circle and window has to be the outer circle done now you see the conclusion some windows are rings absolutely perfect right because in every single case ring and window will have a common area no matter how you write the Venn diagram so this is also right so if both say uh, conclusions one and two are right then which option should you pick definitely not the first one and definitely not the third one you have to pick both one and two are right so i hope it is clear to everybody let's move on to the next question uh, the next question for everybody is coming over here uh, yes let's see what's the answer to this question first thing you should do is reverse the statements and see whether they are available in the conclusions or not some cats are rats means some rats are cats and not available right then some tables are bats is it there no some bats are rats is it there no then we'll write the venn diagram for the same so while writing the venn diagram please be careful some cats are rats means uh, there has to be a cat and there has to be a common area between cat as well as rat done then all bats are tables but i don't know what is table now that's why i'll go for the next statement directly and it says all rats are bats so all rats are bats means rat has to be the inner circle and then bat has to be the outer circle so i'll write like this this is the third statement let's go to the second statement and second statement uh, says that all bats are tables if all bats are tables uh, bat has to be the inner circle and table has to be the outer circle it looks like this now after i write uh, the venn diagram let's see conclusions some cats are bats is it correct if some cats have to be bats there has to be a common area between cat as well as bat so uh, definitely that conclusion is true because there we have a common area between cat and bat if the first one is true definitely i can uh, eliminate none of this because it cannot be the answer since i know the first one is definitely correct now let us see uh, whether 2 and 4 are correct because if I know 2 and 4 are incorrect then I can eliminate these two and write option B as the answer. Let us see the second one. All bats are rats. If I have to say all bats are rats then bat has to be the inner circle and rat has to be the outer circle. Do we have it here? No, it's the reverse, right? That's why second one is definitely wrong. If the second one is wrong, I can eliminate option B, sorry, option A because it says second one also follows. That's not right absolutely wrong now let us see the fourth one is right or not all bats are cats all bats are cats is also a wrong thing because if all bats have to be uh, cats then uh, bat has to be the inner circle and cat has to be the outer circle which is not found here that's why the fourth one is also wrong only one answer that is right is option b i hope it is clear to you let's go to the next question question four is available here let us see uh, what's the right answer to this question uh, samosas are jalebi okay uh, samosas are jalebi means uh, something is missing there you have to take it as all samosas are jalebi because they did not mention some over there it means by default you have to take samosas are jalebi means all samosas are jalebi done what's the reverse of that some jalebis are uh, samosas and that is not available and reverse of all will definitely give me some that's why conclusions will not follow Let's write the Venn diagram. All samosas are jalebi. How will you write it? Samosa is inner circle and jalebi has to be the outer circle. Then all jalebis are tikkis. If all jalebis are tikki, jalebi has to be the inner circle and tikki has to be the outer circle. Done. Then all tikkis are burfis. So if all tikkis are burfi, tikki has to be the uh, inner circle and burfi has to be the outer circle. Now let us read the conclusion. Conclusion says all jalebis are burfi. Is it correct? Yes. 
if all jalebis are burfi jalebi has to be the inner circle burfi has to be the outer circle and it is there hence conclusion 1 is definitely true now i cannot uh, uh, yes i can decide uh, option c is definitely wrong because it, it doesn't talk anything about conclusion 1 hence option c is gone let's go for the second one all tikkis are samosas is it correct uh, all tikkis are samosas is wrong because if all tikkis are samosas tikki has to be the inner circle samosa has to be the outer circle which is not possible here in the venn diagram which that's the reason why uh, option 2 is wrong if the option 2 is wrong definitely i can eliminate option a conclusion 2 is wrong i can eliminate option a because it says a uh, two also follows which is not right then all samosas are burfis yes because if samosa is inner circle burfi is the outer circle that definitely that uh, possibility is there so all samosas are burfi is perfectly fine that means the third one is definitely uh, correct let's go with that so you see here all samosas are burfi is right so if the third one is also correct then your answer has to be only 1 and 3 only 1 and 3 so all four is wrong because the second one is definitely wrong right so answer has to be only 1 and 3 follow what about all burfi sir jalebis no that's not right because if all burfi burfi is have to be jalebis then bur burfi has to be the inner circle and jalebi has to be the outer circle so hence answer to this question is only 1 and 3 uh, which is there in option b last question from uh, this video is here let's check who comes up with the quick answer yes uh first thing you should do is all gold are platinum that means some platinum are gold is it there no it's not there no platinum is silver that means no silver is platinum done that's also not there some diamonds are silver that means some silvers are diamonds that is also not there let us write the venn diagram for the same all gold are platinum how will i write it gold has to be the inner circle then platinum has to be the outer circle done first part is done no platinum is silver that means there is no common area between platinum and silver and then they are saying some diamonds are silvers some diamonds are silvers means that uh, means it there has to be a common area between diamond as well as silver now this is how the venn diagram looks there can be other venn diagrams possible too but let us go with this one and if anything is not satisfying here that is absolutely wrong let's go with this some diamonds are golds yeah that is a possibility i'm telling you if i drag this diamond portion on the left side of silver then there is a chance that uh, diamond will come in uh, contact with the gold there is a possibility but this is not a 100 percentage valid conclusion so it's wrong if one is wrong definitely i can eliminate uh, option a done let's go for the second one some diamonds are platinum again uh, that is a possibility but not a definite conclusion so that's why second one is also wrong So second one is wrong means option D is gone because it says two and four follow. Let's go for uh, the conclusion three. It says some gold are silver. Uh, some gold are silver is absolutely not possible because they said no platinum is silver. If no platinum can be silver, how can this silver portion come inside uh, this gold region? Not possible. Now the third one is also wrong. If the third one is also wrong, then fourth one has to be right. Let's go with the this. Uh, no silver is gold of course if no platinum is silver then silver cannot cross this platinum section if silver cannot cross this platinum section it cannot intersect with gold right there is no common area between gold and silver hence fourth one is definitely correct in, in that case option c is the right answer because only conclusion 4 follows so i hope uh, the video was useful to you and in the next session we will also tell you how to solve the when uh, syllogism based problem without using venn diagram so until then it's bye bye from chetan kumar if you are not a subscriber of this channel please uh, do like the video first and then also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you so much have a wonderful day ahead